Yo, man, have you seen the new uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z trailer, dude? Oh my god, that game looks amazing. What do you think about it? Nah, B, I haven't seen it. But it's trash, bro. I saw like uh, one image, dude. So bad, so bad. Wait, what? You haven't seen the trailer? You've seen one image and you think it's shit? Dude, it doesn't even look like Xenoverse, bro. Like, what is this shit? Look, 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 dude. Have you even... Do you even see this shit? It looks like it's from, like, uh, 1950, bruv. So, because it's not like Xenoverse 2, and because you like Xenoverse 2, you think the game is going to be bad. Dude, dude, just stop talking to me. When when, when a Battle of Gods remake comes out, then start talking to me, bro. Because Fighter Z is trash. Really, nigga? Bitch, I am ultimate beat on my awesomeness, narcissist, part time and arsonist. Ripping the cartilage, I am the hardest bitch, wrap it up, put in sarcophagus. Dearly departed, it's done when it started, so now that I'm living so harmonious. Feeling like Sparta gets hurried, the ultimate, I am the best, is no politics, bitch, I'm ultimate. Hey guys, Happy New Year's and Merry Christmas. I know it's nowhere near Christmas, so please don't write in the comment section, oh, you faggot, why are you talking about Christmas? Christmas was a long time ago. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to say, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I had a pretty good one. Spent time with my family. You guys really don't care about me, so I don't know why the fuck I'm talking about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed time with your family and you guys got some gifts that you wanted. And also New Year's. New Year's was... Again, I don't know why I'm talking about myself. I'm supposed to be talking about you guys. But my one of my pet peeves, because I'm about New Year's now, is that every five seconds there's fireworks and I can't get anything done because the only thing I'm hearing is... Okay, no need for the sun effect. Like, I can understand people are really happy. See all over Twitter. 2018, it's a new me. Even I tweeted out that 2018 is going to be my year. I'm going to be doing my best, trying to upload content when I know... I'm just gonna be sitting on my couch, eating ice cream, watching Netflix. Point is, is that I'm not here talking about that, okay? I'm here to talk about the Dragon Ball community, and um, in a total, it's kind of like just the Dragon Ball gaming community, not in total, just as a whole, the Dragon Ball gaming community, because if I talk about the Dragon Ball community as a whole, I'll just be rambling on, ranting, and then I'll lose what the hell I was talking about in the first place. So you pretty much know it from reading the title, or you saw the anime titties in the thumbnail, which, you know, good job. Now, I made a YouTube video about Fighter Z a couple months ago on why I'm a bit uh, iffy about the game and I wasn't gonna be like full in with the hype. The game looked amazing from the first trailer, but you know, you can't judge a game by the trailer that it releases because so many games, so many times we've been seeing these games and everyone's super hyped about it. And then you realize that the game is either meh or shit. From the closed beta that they shown and the multiple videos of gameplay, I am now assured that the game is going to be amazing. Now, my problem with that video in particular was the comments I was receiving. Now, I did not structure that video at all so I could kind of understand why people were kind of like uh, iffy about it because I kind of went into other games and I wasn't mainly talking about Fighter Z, but through those other games, I was trying to explain my points on why I was kind of confused and like not really sure if I should trust the game. What I want to talk about is now how people are receiving all these games. Now, Xenoverse 2, another Dragon Ball game that uh, received the trailer about a couple of months back, um, around, I don't know, May, I'm just gonna say, that game, I made a reaction video to the trailer and I was really hyped about it. Funnily enough, I wasn't as susceptible to to um, the uh, Xenoverse 2 trailer as I was to the Fighter Z trailer, mainly because they had already made a game about it before. And the thing is, Xenoverse 2 is not even a great game. It's like a meh game. It's not something that you, it's something to be praised about. It's like average. However, all these times a new Dragon Ball game comes out, there's the community that goes absolutely insane, jerking off the game, ready for the developer to fuck them in the ass and see what happens next. Because um, all these games, like fucking Budokai Tenkaichi, a tra um, no, Ultima Tenkaichi, sorry. Correction that game the trailer looked amazing. Everyone's like, oh my god This is gonna be a great game. You see the trailer then they realize the game is not even that good Um, Dragon Ball community is kind of iffy because they either love the game or they hate the game There's always that two sides and now I saw in my video in the comments that a lot of people 
despised my video because either they were in love with the game but there was also people that fucking hated it man and they were agreeing with me not because of the reasons i made but mainly because it's different mainly because it wasn't the game that they've seen all this time it wasn't like a battle of gods that amazing game that everyone loves right it wasn't like xenoverse it's like a actual fighting game and it doesn't bring a lot to the table when it comes to actual let's say gameplay because the game sure the gameplay is like all innovative it looks really like the anime it looks very clean very nice but it's like a regular fighting game you don't see a bunch of these features that people may want like uh, custom created characters that can have like custom combos you know etc and that's the problem mainly i have with this community because there's always two far sides of the spectrum that either people have to take they will either want to be like the cool kids and not like the any game that comes out that's new or they want to be the people that are ready to suck bandai namco's dick <laughs> because a new dragon ball game is coming out people are very like unwilling to feel change in any way to a game like they would rather have a xenoverse free rather than fight a z because xenoverse is that that groundwork that they've um seen for a long time and like they really like and they really want to just play so now that they see this new game they're kind of gee they just don't want it at all and they're not willing to give it a chance and that's really annoying about this community it's kind of like they think people the game is going backwards what whereas it's going forwards really because it's opening up a, a whole new uh base player base in which people re because people really like competitive fighting games uh, i've seen it all over the place i've talked about competitive fighting games before such as marvel vs capcom and i feel like fighter z really brings the spirit of those games out and shows it really brings out an anime game which people can really enjoy because there's all these other games like skull girls and guilty gear which are good games in my opinion they do have a fan base but they don't have a fan base which like Dragon Ball or One Piece or Naruto has. And that's why sometimes these anime games are really successful. Because they have these people that really want their anime to have a game, a good game, but in a specific genre. Whereas Xenoverse 2, it's not, you could call it a fighting game, but it's not a true competitive fighting game in that sense. However, there is one thing that I will say about Dragon Ball Fighter Z, which I can kind of commend these people that don't like Xenoverse, I mean Dragon Ball Fighter Z for, and they like Xenoverse 2. There is no thickness. The only thickness in that game is the occasional Android 18 and the occasional Android 21. Where is the thickness, boys? Come on. Like Xenoverse 2, there was Boo thickness, there was the Mechian thickness, there was Human thickness, there was Saiyan thickness, there was thickness of all kinds. The booty was real. <laughs> Whereas Fighter Z really is really lackluster in that sense, and that's why if I was going to make a review on Fighter Z, it would only get a 5 out of 10. And in the end of the day, I feel like this game is going to be really good. And it's just the community just is very toxic, to be honest. And I could go into a lot of detail why it's toxic, but this is not really a scripted video. So I'm just talking out of my head and saying everything that I kind of right now I'm thinking about. And right now I'm really thinking about how I'm hungry and I want to eat a sandwich. I'm going to end the video off here. I hope you guys enjoy this video.